So I made this like beef slash cheddar quesadilla deal over here. It's quite hot, so that's why I'm not eating it yet. And then I have guac, which I'm so excited. Didn't really vlog that much this week. I always say that and then I end up with like 10 to 18 minutes footage of vlog for you guys. But I really didn't have time this week. Don't mind the pimple patch because I was so caught up with like health stuff. So I'm just gonna like kind of say it a little bit. I think I have like a mild case of UTI, TMI, but you know, I'm just going through it and drinking lots of cranberry juice and just dealing with that. It's hectic, sorry. Talking with my mouth full, but it's getting hectic at work too because of, of the holidays. Mm. But um, another thing that's been going on is my roommate is thinking of moving, which I was always prepared for. So I'm really glad that I saved enough money, but I can always save more. So I'm working like a lot just so I don't have to bite the dust later on. But I'm hoping like if she does move out, I'm not going to go for another roommate. That's my goal. I just want to live by myself from now on. Or if down the road I get a partner, whatever. Like, I'm, I think I'm just done with like having roommates. So until then, I'm just gonna save up money and hopefully live at, in my apartment by myself. But that's what I'm up to. <laughs> oh man, at work today it was so busy. I think we made almost like over three grand, which is pretty big for a small store. And then there was one part where um, I think. Me and my coworker almost caught a shop shoplifter, but it's so hard because like, you know, if you guys work in retail, you know, it's so hard to kind of like pinpoint somebody when you feel uneasy or you feel like something might happen. And then when you follow your gut, chances are it does happen. Um, so yeah, like I was on the eyeball just like staring at this person for a while and they kept looking at me like to make sure that I wasn't looking at them or um, if I looked away, they would do their move, but ugh, it's just tough. And then I've been sitting my butt on this couch for like the last hour because I, I, I just been so tired. I think for once, you know, just sitting down doing nothing. I was like, whoa, this feels nice. Um, but yeah, my roommate went to her hometown and then she messaged me earlier. She's like, oh my gosh, Sophie, I'm so sorry. Like I broke your favorite baking dish and... I wasn't like mad or upset. I was more happy the fact that she told me, but I basically bought another one because I'm a fiend for cooking appliances, you know, well not appliances, cooking bowls rather. So the one that she broke was like double the size of this one, but look how cute this baking dish is. At least this one is smaller so I can just like make about two or three servings in there, whereas the other one it made like about six servings. and. Usually I don't need that much anyway, so it's fine. And then the other day my roommate accidentally lost this little piece too, so I had to buy a new one. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, as I was continuing talking about everything, um, yeah, I don't know when she's thinking of moving back, but it is hard. Like this pandemic is really um, biting the butt for a lot of people. And again, I'm very grateful to be working at my other job a lot. And I'm trying to work as much as I can just so I can save a lot of money um, to be able to afford living here, you know what I mean? And this place, like this apartment, it's not the fanciest place, but it's home for me. And, um, you know, it's my first apartment that I moved on my own with a friend. So it means a lot to me to stay here. Like I do want to stay here. Um, so in order to stay here, I just have to keep working and be more responsible with my moonies um on that note did i mention i did buy airpods because they were on sale at costco i'm also hoping to save up um for my birthday to buy myself a new phone because my phone be slowly dying um and just to kind of like treat myself sort of thing and then after that i think some big purchases are like you know getting blunt stones or getting um, a new jacket but I have to say and I don't mean this in a sad way or anything but I've always wanted like a moose knuckle jacket if I were to 
be honest with you guys you know it's like one of those lavish fancy brand ones but the last jacket that i have is um from uniqlo and i bought my mom a uniqlo jacket last year and she's always wanted it and i think i'm gonna rock that jacket um just because we had the same jacket for another year just because it holds a place dear in my heart that me and my mom had the same jacket. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds weird. But you know what I mean? Um, and at least it's an excuse for me to save money. And I made this goal where once I reach a certain amount, I want to treat myself to a fucking designer bag. Because I want to show to myself that I can do it. You guys can do it too. If you set your mind to something, pay off your debts, pay off whatever. Once I get to that goal, I will probably do a video just to give you guys tips and tricks on how I did it. But until then, I'm still working a lot. And like I said in my old post long time ago, like even though I'm working so much just to enjoy that little snippet of life, what life has to offer, I think I wouldn't change it for the world. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm gonna clean some dishes, maybe film a fashion overhaul depending on how I feel or how tired I feel. But... I probably won't film it today because I have to charge my phone and stuff like that. But until then, hopefully you guys are doing well. And I'm probably just going to post up this vlog tomorrow, so Sunday night, depending on how much footage I get. But hopefully you guys are staying safe. You guys are staying sane. And please take care of yourself. Prioritize what is best and what you need. Don't get what you want. Get what you need. And something that you can invest in and, you know, use it up sort of thing. Testing out my friend's lashes again. These are in the style of Mila, which I think I like as well. I think I like it too. But yesterday when I glued it on, I was so careful with the glue because I have the black eyelash adhesive glue. And I was just scared of messing up my makeup that I was so light on it and midway throughout the day did kind of like peel off at the edges so I had to fix it um but yeah my friend came over yesterday and she didn't notice that I had lashes on so I guess it looks natural and a lot of my um, customers were like oh my god like where'd you get your lashes done because they thought they were extensions so girl Nancy I am being that plug for you I've been like passing over my friends to her Instagram page and I'm not being paid to say all this um, I'm not being biased because she's my friend I'd be honest about it but I'm loving wearing false lashes I don't want to do it as an everyday thing I only wear it like once in a while but today I'm thinking of filming a video so which is why I have these on and I want to test it out but I'm vlogging because I wanted to sh share with you guys my staple lip like I've been using this lip color I'm a pink lip kind of person so I've been wearing the Annabelle Big Show Gel um, Big Show Gel Lip Liner, the no bleeding one. It works really well. This is my second one, and this is in the color rosy. So if you guys are looking for like a muted nude pink, definitely check this out. Like I already lined my lips with it, but get the one with the black base for the crayon. So I just basically lined up my lip for that. And then I love Charlotte Tilbury's um, Pillow Talk. I'm part of that wagon. And it is a little bit pricey, but it's like the quality of it is really good. So I would do that as a base and see how the liner kind of adds some depth into that. And I love the packaging of it. This is like my first bougie lippy. And then last but not least, I like to top it up with uh, the Sephora cream lip stain. This is in the color daydream number 81 Sorry, my phone's going off. Also, I'm waiting for the walk-in to call me watch if they're gonna call me as I'm vlogging this But my appointment for on phone consultation while well, I can't talk on phone consultation Was supposed to be at like what 9 15 and it's 10 31 like But then I get it, you know the whole like walk-ins healthcare, all that stuff it's on a pause right now because we are in a pandemic and it's scary because the numbers in toronto are rising up and it's continuing to rise up so today as i'm saying that today i'm gonna go to the mall i'm gonna be careful obviously i think i might wear gloves today um just because my hands they're slowly getting the eczema again 
Um, but I have to look for a present for my sister. So I'll bring you guys along with me if I find anything. And then I think today I'm going to attempt to take out that AC over there because it's about that time. Um, I'm kind of nervous to do it because usually I would need Turkey's help, but I want to see if I can do it myself. I think I can, but if I can't, shit, then I'm screwed up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to do that today. And then I'm also going to switch up my wardrobe from like spring, summer to fall. So that's going to be exciting because it's getting a little bit cooler now in Toronto. And then my last thing that I want to, oh, I have to cook dinner for tomorrow because I'm back to work tomorrow. And then just cleaning up the whole apartment. My roommate's going to stay at her parents' place for the whole week. So that's going to be a little bit different for me. It's going to give me a, sh a feel of how it's going to be like living by myself. Um, but yeah, let's just get the day going because apparently the walk-in is not, probably not going to call me. And the malls don't open till 11, so, and it's 10 to 33, so I'm probably going to do little things here and there just to get the day going. So, ended up getting a call from the doctors, and luckily, my whole, like, mild UTI case has gone down. Like, it's not as crazy as before. Oh, shit, this is bent. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. But I'm going to try to take down my AC. Uh, probably not the safest option right now. But I have no other choice and I really want to take it down and just like get everything cleared up. And then I'm going to head to the mall to get just to look around and to get some shit. <sighs> but so far, apartment's clean. I just had to vacuum, but I feel like I should do this first, tackle this first and then later go to the mall and all that stuff. It's going to be a productive day and it's still early. It's 12 o'clock. Oh yeah, I didn't even explain the call. So the doctor called like literally two hours after my appointment, which is fine. It's whatever. Um, but she asked me questions like, oh, um, is it still sensitive down there? Like, did you see any like blood, blah, blah, blah. And being totally transparent with you guys, I'm probably like, people are probably like, whoa, you're sharing so much, but I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, like there was a slight tint of pale pink, you know, for in the first like, night but then i think it's fine now um i've been drinking cranberry juice drinking water on the daily and uh yeah it's eventually healing itself you know what i mean i don't want to jinx it but she did ask like did i still want the prescription just to be safe and i said yes like i even if it's gone like i would rather have like medication for it just in case it happens again but okay i'm gonna try to tackle that while it's still cool and nice out and then we're gonna head out Okay, so I did it. I am so sweaty right now though. I'm happy this is done and over with. Next is I want to switch up my curtains. Really hope my windows don't fall over tonight. I'm sure they won't, but it looks pretty good. There it is. So before I leave out, I'm gonna clean up this AC. Do this one right here. I gotta wipe down some stuff, put it in a bag, put it with the remote control, and then everything is great. <sighs> but look at how sweaty. Oh yeah, I also got a Rakuten check for $1.44. Honestly, Rakuten, I don't really use it that much because I'm trying not to like spend online as much. But when you do, you get cash back. So if you guys are interested, I'm not being sponsored by saying this. I just want to help you guys out in terms of saving money and also, you know, getting money back. Click on my referral link below. But I think I'm going to just chill a little bit and then I'm going to leave around 1 and hopefully be back like around 4 or something. Just so at least I can like come back, eat, film for you guys. A little sneak peek, no surprise here. I'm going to be filming that pile of clothes right there. And then yeah, I have to do some work stuff I totally forgot. So I'm probably going to do some work shit as well. And then I'm just so happy that I can finally have fresh air into my room because it's like fall time right now so it feels really nice it doesn't feel too hot or anything